let's build our PHP container so let's quickly jump into the browser and here is the official repository for PHP so you will find all the images uh, available for you if you want to use PHP in Docker the one we are interested in is PHP FPM running on Alpine so here it is that's the image we are interested in so I'm just gonna copy this and paste so let's go back to our code editor and this time we're not gonna specify image uh, in our docker compose because we need to make some changes to the image we need to install some additional PHP extensions so we need the docker file so what we're gonna do in our docker directory let's create a new one for our container PHP and within this directory let's create our docker file so let's do docker file and let's start uh, here so we're gonna say from PHP and the version of our image which is this one uh, we're gonna run some commands uh, first of all we need to run apk update and then we need to add some uh, packages so we're gonna do apk add and um, here is the list of all the extensions we need uh, all the packages we need so those packages are dependencies for our uh, PHP extensions uh, in docker you can install uh, PHP extensions we have a special command uh, docker provide us with which is um, which is this uh, docker PHP extension install and after that uh, you can list all your PHP extensions you want to uh, have installed uh, in your container so I'm just gonna copy and paste so we need MySQL, IPDO and so on uh, I'm gonna just quickly show you uh, this gist on uh, github so this is a list of all the PHP extensions names you can use with docker PHP extension install uh, I'm gonna link this in the description so going back to our code editor so here uh, we are done with our image so we can save that and let's quickly go back to our docker compose so in our docker compose we need to specify another service which we're gonna call php and this time we need to tell uh, docker to build and we're gonna say build and next command it's gonna be context and in our case our context is uh, docker uh, php so what this does it tells docker to look for docker file in directory docker php and it will use this docker file uh, next we need a container name and we're just gonna copy and paste that and we're gonna just change the the end of our name to php uh, next we need ports and we're gonna run our PHP container on port 9000 so let's do that 9000 9, great and finally we need volumes so what we need to do we need to mount our code base into our PHP uh, container and what we want to do we're gonna do from code mount into code and this is nearly done and uh, the final bit we need to have a communication going between our containers so we need to link our PHP container into our Nginx container as we're gonna have to uh, use um, uh, the link between these two containers in our virtual host so what we're gonna do we're gonna say links and we're just simply gonna say PHP so Linking is the way of uh, connecting containers uh, so they can talk uh, in between each other. So what's great about that 
is that in another container we can just specify the name of the service and docker will handle uh, all the networking for us so we are done in our docker compose now we just need to adjust our virtual host so let's go back to our virtual host uh, we need to add the additional block it's going to be a location block uh, so our web server know how to handle PHP files uh, do that so for every file ending with PHP uh, use PHP and our fast CGI backend as you can see here we're referencing a PHP service on port 9000 so we are done with that and now we are ready to jump quickly into our terminal and we should be able to build this container so let's do docker compose app d and we should see docker pulling uh, PHP image and then building our image including all the packages and extensions we specify in docker file uh, for the first time this may take uh, a few minutes so just be patient and let it finish And now we are done uh, our container should be up and running so let's quickly confirm that with docker ps and let's go to the browser and quickly confirm that that our server is running and is uh, all looking good so let's quickly jump into our code editor and in our code base let's create a new file uh, with extension of php index.php and here I can call function php info that will give us all the information uh, about our php uh, so that and let's also remove this file so let's delete that and let's jump into browser refresh the page and as you can see uh, we successfully installed our php so now another thing we can do we can just quickly verify if our configuration of PHP uh, is sufficient to run Laravel framework and we can do that with Laravel requirements check and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab this file I'm gonna go row grab this URL and quickly go to terminal go to cd docker uh, PH, uh, actually no, go to our code and quickly grab this file and hopefully it's there, great, let's go back to the browser and let's hit that URL, so check.php and as you can see uh, we meet all the requirements in order to run latest version of Laravel